The Alps. And their unforgettable music. Let's forget about fuel economy and CO2 emissions for a minute. Let's just act as though climate change is not happening, or that electromobility appears to be the wave of the future. Let's talk power, speed, and handling. Let's talk dream car. We've come to Alta Badia in the Dolomite Range in northern Italy to take a grand total of 1,572 kilowatts of power thundering over the mountain passes. First up, a brand that makes many a car lover's heart beat faster, Aston Martin. The car driven by 007. Even this spanking new Virage seems infused with a Bond aura. The small British sports car producer first acquired international recognition when Her Majesty's favorite spy took the wheel of a DB5 in Goldfinger. The new Virage is a niche car, though it's hard to believe that there's much of one between the DB9 and the DBS. The Virage packs a 365 kilowatt punch, midway between the two other Aston Martins. Only a real fan of the brand can tell the difference between a DB9 and a DBS from the body alone. But why tamper with something as pretty as this? The Virage is a real looker too. Its sculpted nose sports a deep front apron and vertical daytime running lamps. Not many surprises in the interior for Aston connoisseurs, just lovingly stitched leather and gimmicks that could have come straight out of a James Bond film. like a pen hidden in the center console. Even the sun visors are special. And have you ever seen a car key as cool as this one? The Virage fits like a well-tailored tweed suit, revealing its British origins. Nothing about the design is overstated. The electronically controlled suspension can be softened to provide a comfortable ride as well and the six-speed automatic transmission shifts silkily up and down the range. In sporty mode, the Aston hits just the right gear at the right time, letting you slam your way through curves or roll through them sedately, always accompanied by a deep-throated 12-cylinder growl. The mixture of DB9 and DBS can be had starting at a mere 190,000 euros. Compared to that, the Jaguar sounds like a steal. The XKR's supercharged 5-liter 8-cylinder engine packs 375 kilowatts of power, and it costs just 106,000 euros. The series is also based on a grand tradition that began back in 1949. Shortly after the end of the Second World War, the XK120 was launched as an affordable, high-performance car. The XK150 was the first automobile to sport disc brakes on all four wheels. Compared to the Aston Martin, the XKR's huge air intake and outlet grills make a strutting statement, beware my power. The quadruple exhaust pipes accentuate the unmistakable roar of a V8, but this Jag is comfortable enough for longer journeys as well as quick sprints. Its all-rounder qualities, combined with a hard-to-beat price in the segment, has made the XKR the dream car of choice for plenty of fans. A procession as striking as this one draws lots of attention. 2,000 meters above sea level, we run into a troop of mountaineers from the Italian army. For them, it's love at first sight. Yeah. This machine is a it's German sports cars are also popular with the soldiers. 
They especially like the Audi R8 GT. After all, they said, it's the next best thing to a Ferrari or Lamborghini. Or is it even better? Our R8 GT race kit car, which comes equipped with roll bars, bucket seats, and a four-point safety belt harness, is a competitor to be reckoned with. Audi has stripped more than 100 kilograms off its overall weight, and the R8 GT's V10 motor puts out 412 kilowatts of power. The R8 GT is a sports car for the street that takes advantage of Audi technology tested in the grueling Le Mans series races, a pure driving machine. Its all-wheel drive clings to the pavement, not only helping the handling, which is spectacular, but also the car's stability. Even with the ESP deactivated, the R8 GT allows perfect control. So what's the downside? Well, only 333 units are being produced, and they've all been sold already, in spite of the 193,000 euro price tag. Good thing the Mercedes makes the SLS. Those are still available. If you can afford to splash out just under 187,000 euros for your dream car, this might be the one for you. With 420 kilowatts of output, it was the most powerful of the cars we took to Alta Badia. We judged its performance slightly inferior to that of the Audi, due probably to the fact that the SLS weighs 100 kilograms more. Still, this Benz was nothing like the brand's more stately models. In-house customizer AMG turned this screaming V8 into a truly stunning sports car. The ecstatic, hungry sound of the motor can make passengers feel giddy. The four together provided the perfect spectacle. And if you buy one of them, that's probably just what